In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Bubble Create, but not only to connect data with your designs, but to connect images as well. And because we're going to talk about Bubble Create, it is very important to mention that this is not a free tool. This feature is available to Canva Pro, Canva Teams, Canva for Education, and Canva for Nonprofit users on desktop only, meaning you won't be able to find this feature on a mobile device. So if it happens that you have a Canva free account but would love to try this feature out, we have a 30-day free trial of Canva Pro in the description. Go to the panel on the left and click on apps. From here you're going to scroll down and you will find Bulk Create here. Click on the icon. Now from here you can use this feature in two different ways. One is to enter the data manually or the second one is to upload the data. And here are the supported file types. I'm going to show you first how to use the upload data feature, but before I click on this button, I'm going to show you how to build this data. Here I am in Google Sheets and as you can see, the information that I want to connect or the data that I want to connect with my designs is organized quite simply. I just have the name on top for each of the columns and then I have the information organized in here. The important thing that I want to mention here and why I came here to Google Sheets is to show you how to upload the images on this table. When you want to upload images to Google Sheets, there are two different ways and there is one, only one, that works with the connect data and will create in Canva. So let me show you what I mean. Okay, I'm gonna delete one of these images to show you how you are supposed to upload the images to this sheet. You're going to position yourself on the cell where you want to upload the image and then you're going to click on insert image and then this is pretty important select insert image in cell if you insert the image over cells this is not going to work for our project so let's click on insert image in cell from here you're going to upload your image and that's it you will see that your image is going to appear inside the cell this is the correct way to upload your images into your sheet and now let me show you another important thing to download this data you're going to click on file then download and select this first option that says microsoft excel this format is the one that worked on my end i tried with csv but it didn't work with the images so that's why i'm suggesting you download this data as microsoft excel now that i have this file on my computer i'm going to upload it to canva so i'm gonna go to apps scroll down again to find the bulk create and then from here upload data I'm selecting the Microsoft file that I just downloaded from Google Sheets and then click open. From here you will see that you can select the sheet. In my case I had two different sheets so I'm going to select the one where I have the data that I want to connect. Then you can select the range. This is optional in case that you want to go from one cell to another particular cell in your whole sheet. In my case I'm going to leave it as it is as I already had the right information information I want to connect with my design. Next step is to click continue. Now from here we are going to connect our data to the elements present in the design or the template. But there is something very important here before we connect and continue. You're going to make sure that the text boxes that you have on your design have the right size. And this is very important because this will save you from having to adjust every single new design generated with the bulk create. Okay, pretty simple here I have this title text box which is actually pretty short so I need to make it longer because the titles from our courses are actually long so I think this is going to work well for the topic you can see that the topics are quite short so one of the topics is AI another one is Canva another one is branding so pretty short topics let's say or pretty short keywords for the topic going to leave this one like this and then for the product description 
I think this size is okay, but something important that you need to have into consideration is how your text box is going to grow. In this case, if I want the text to grow up and down, I need to change the settings from here. If I were to leave this text box as it is, my text, it will grow downwards and I would need to adjust some of the designs because it can happen that the text goes over this button. So all you have to do to make sure that your text box is growing both ways is to select the text box, go to spacing and then select the anchor text box to grow up and down, which is this option right here. My title, because it's on top of the design, it is okay to grow downwards, so this is fine. And then the topic, this one, because it's just simple keywords, this one is not going to grow, so this one doesn't matter. Now we are ready to connect our data. All we have to do is to right click on our element and then connect data. You're gonna click here and then simply select the data that you want to connect with each element. So in this case, this is the title or the course name. We then have the topic, so you can either again right click or you can go to this menu on top and click connect data. Topic, I have it here. Then the product description, let me see, we have the description here. And finally, the image. So let's go to connect data and you will see image here. I have all of these elements connected and I think we are ready to generate our product slides. So I'm gonna click on continue. Canva is then going to show you how many designs are going to be generated generated with this data. So in this case, we can see that I have six different designs and you can also see it on this button. It says generate six designs. I think everything looks good. So I'm going to click on generate six designs. Canva just created a new document where I have my six new designs. As you can see, everything looks perfect. I have the images on my designs. I have the titles, the topic, and even the description of each course. I think the key here for you to be able to create several designs without having to adjust a lot of things is the size of your text boxes. So in this case, I left the title text boxes quite long, which helped me a lot. Remember to pay attention to the anchor. And I also would say to pay attention to the font size. If you leave your font size too big, you will then have your titles, you know, like coming over your images or in places that you may not want it. So this is pretty important. This also comes from experience. So I do suggest that you try it out because a lot of learnings are going to come from the trial and error. Now let me show you how to use bulk create manually. I'm going to show you how to add a watermark to different images. So let me create the layout really quick. I'm going to go to elements. I'm going to select a grid to cover the entire page and then let me add a shape so we can add a watermark later on here down below. Let me go to color and then I'm going to add a gradient. So let me use a transparent gradient that goes to black. This is going to help me create a little bit of a shadow effect to make my watermark easier to read. So now I'm adding a text box to create the watermark. So I'm going to go for Montserrat extra bold and then I'm gonna make this white and add some transparency to this text box. You can do the same if you are using a logo or anything else that you want to add as a watermark. So let's say that you don't want to add a text box as a watermark but a logo. I'm gonna use one of our logos. So let's say this one. Let's say that you want to add a logo here on the corner and you can also add transparency to it if you want. So it looks like a watermark. You can leave it like this and that's it. I think I'm going to remove this logo as I don't need it, but I just wanted to show you how to use it. I'm going to leave these two elements here. And now before we use by create, you're going to go to uploads and you're going to upload the images that you want to use with the by create. So you're going to click upload files and upload the files that you have on your computer. Let's go again to by create. So go to apps. 
scroll down by create and then enter data manually in this case i already have a column called image so i simply need to click on this plus icon and scroll down to see the images that i have uploaded to canva and i will start adding them to this column if you need to add more data to your table, if you need to add more text or images, you can do it by clicking here on these two buttons. Or on the other hand, if you need to delete a column, simply right click on any of the columns and click delete column. I think I'm ready with this data or the images that I have uploaded and I'm going to click done. And lastly, all we have to do is to connect this frame to our images. So connect data and then image. I'm going to click continue canva is going to double check if i want to create six different designs which is the case if there is one of the images that you don't want to connect maybe you uploaded it by mistake you are going to deselect it in my case i want them all select and then i'm going to generate the designs canva created a new document with the six different designs as you can see them here we have now each design or each image with a watermarking here in my case i used this little shadow if you remember but it depends on your own images you may want to have this shadow or not for example in this design here it's not really necessary but if i were to come to page 5 and delete the shadow you will see that the watermark is not visible so that's why I added this little shadow. So as you can see, we were able to create a product catalog quite easy, quite simple. We also created a watermark on different images in a couple of seconds. And you can also generate different variations of the same thumbnail. I have here a design that I found on the Canva library. This is a template. And again, if you want to change the image, you want to see the same thumbnail, maybe the same copy, but different images you will do exactly the same you're gonna go to bulk create you can either upload your data or enter data manually in this case i have already uploaded some images here to canva that i am going to use on this thumbnail i have this one here this one and this one these are actually some images generated by the ai so i'm quite curious to see how they would look like on a thumbnail okay we have the images ready click done select the image connect data image and hit continue generate three different designs yes and here we have the three different thumbnails you may need to adjust the position of some of these images so they look better with the text but as you can see you have the same copy of the thumbnail but with three different images and then from here you can select the one that you think is going to get the most clicks now i want to clarify a couple of things here because i know some of you may have these questions so instead of having you Typing the question in the comments, I'm going to answer them to you now. Taking this design as an example, you see here the name of a person. This is the first name and last name. With this bulk create feature, you can only connect one data field to one element. So let's say that in your table, you have a column with the first name and then another column with the last name. These are going to count as two different fields. And if you want to connect these two fields, fields you will then have to have one text box for the first name so you can connect the first name to that data field and then you're going to have another text box for the last name so you are able to connect that other data field and if you're planning to connect several data fields to one design just have into consideration that you can connect up to 60 different data fields and also bear in mind that in canva there is a maximum of five 500 pages in just one design now i'm curious i want to know how many of you already knew about this tool and how many discovered by watching this video remember there is a 30 day free trial of canva pro in the description but i'm also going to leave the link in here and also don't forget to subscribe we upload two new videos every week i'm gonna leave here a video i'm sure you're going to like and i guess this is it for this tutorial i really hope that you enjoyed and i hope to see you in the next one bye